guys. I just showered for you guys. Para fresh ako. Kasi, we organized the whole room today. Nakaforma. I, I wanted to wear something comfortable. Presentable. <laughs> but hi, everyone. Okay, I have a hard time finding. Okay, okay. I have my lip. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Ron. Pleasure, hello. Hey, I'm not a sticker na lang for a campaign. I'm not sure if I can go for a campaign finale, but might as well just join in case. Sean, hello. Hello, everyone. I literally just showered. I thought my hair would be a little more dry, but it's not. I tried scrunching it so that it will be a little wavy today. Wait now. I'm trying to put the sticker. Am I lagging or no? Because it's acting a bit slow. The 
does it look better? So, naka-dusty, wala lang. Dari lang sa balay. <laughs> I just, ano, I just showered kasi I was moving all day. Hi, Mars Angel. Wait, let me curl my lashes. I feel so weird without curled lashes. But, hi, besties! How are you? I had, uh, I have, uh, hanggang 19, yes, besties, until the 19th. But I don't know if I can do finale. I'll see if I can do finale. Thank you 
so much, Kuya Marl, KP, user 151. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. Um, what has happened since my last live? Did I go live after showtime? John, John, hello. Thank you, Mac Mary. I think I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, okay. Sige, I'll tell you everything. So was that the last time? Ah, Tabs, hello. I feel like I told you, but I didn't pala. I thought ko I said it na. Don John, hello. Oh, thank you, Yuli. Scepter, Evian, hello. Yung sticker nasa gitna? Oh, no. It's in the side for me. Ayan, okay. So, Okay, so the big events in my life lately. Well, yo, yeah, I was able to go on Showtime. It was so fun. Because, like I said, I used to dream of going there. Or kahit ano lang, manood lang. But then I'm so happy that I was great. And I'm very grateful that I got to be on the stage. And it is so much like more vibrant in person than I expected. Because like in TV, it looks different than it does in person. In person, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful and vibrant. Just like the house of... Bahay ni Kuya. Actually, in person, the house is so beautiful. And it's so uh, colorful. Parang, you know how things can't be captured by camera? Like, its beauty is more... Uh, more amazing in real life. Ganun! And then, like, I saw... Where the Horado sit, I saw, uh, I saw, uh, Ate Vice, I saw Kuya Jong, Kuya Bong, uh, Tito Ogi, ano, Tito, who did I see? Ate Karel, I didn't see, yeah, Ate Karel, I didn't see. But yeah, and Kuya Ryan Bang rin. Ang ano, yeah, I didn't get to see Ate Ann. Kuya Ayon, I saw. Ate Jackie, I saw. Um, Kuya Ryan Bang is so tall pala. Like, sobrang tangkat niya. Like, 6'2 maybe? I did not expect that at all. Ate Kim, I didn't see. I wasn't able to stay the whole time eh, kasi... Uh, we had to get ready na rin for the chosen one, so we weren't able to stay there mashad. So we were just there for that segment, and we had to... I lost. It was so funny because me and ano, me and Luke were we were like Mr. Bina to, Mr. Bina talaga to. <laughs> Kasi, all of, hindi ako sumama kay Luke. Yun yung choice ko talaga, actually. I was contemplating between Spongebob and and Mr. Bean. Kasi, Spongebob, I feel like people don't really watch it. I don't know. Here in the Philippines, all I see is Mr. Bean. Like, everywhere I go, sa terminal, sa airport, like, that's what they're playing for the kids. And sa probinsya namin, Mr. Bean talaga yung pinapanood nila. So, ano ko Mr. Bean talaga? And then, yeah, and Tom and Jerry. And then, mga bata, yun nga. But like, that's, malakas pala si Spongebob sa kids. I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. Like, in our province, they're watching, ano, and Mr. Bean. And I grew up with Mr. Bean rin. So, that's what I thought. I didn't know Spongebob was very strong. The, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. So, me and Luke, we were like, Mr. Bean ato. Mr. B, let everyone go to, <laughs> let everyone go to, ano, to Spongebob and Dora and everything. And then yun, first round pa lang, wala na. <laughs> but it was fun, it was fun while it lasted. Daming damit, that's true, that's true, there's a lot of clothes na. Spongebob. Yes, the kids are so cute. I wasn't able to take pictures with the other kids, sadly. Hello, pork adobo. Rohana, hello, thank you so much. Cookie mo, hello. But yeah, I wasn't able to take pictures with the other kids, sayang. I went, I wanted to take a picture with all of them, but yeah, kulot, nakakatuwa sila, like all of them. The kids are so cute. 
nakakagigil. Like, every time I see them, they're so cute. And they're just so small. Baby Argos are so small and tiny. Like, they just want to squish. Baby Argos. Diba? Ang cute niya. Tapos ang talino niya. Like, he knows a lot of things. Very smart for a baby, no? Very smart. And then, yun, ang cute ni Kulot. Kasi, her accent is so cute. Isn't the Batangen yung accent? So cute. Kulot. Yeah, she has like this accent that's so adorable. <laughs> Batangen yung accent. It's so cute. I really love the accent that they have. It's so adorable. I had the teacher before who had a Batangen yung accent. But I love her. The song, thank you for recommending it, Leslie. Parang old soul si Kulot. True! That's so true. It's so cute. She's so cute. Proud na Tanggenyo here. Hello! Shout out sa mga taga Batangas! Yes! Kuya Prince, thank you so much. They're hanged in the sala right now. <laughs> thank you so much for the picture frames. We love them. And we love the edit. Thank you, thank you talaga. Robin, thank you. I changed my room as you can see. I'm very... <laughs> I have so much space. And you can hear an echoing in the background. Kasi... I rearranged the room. Room tour, bestie. Gusto niyo ba? I'm willing to show you my room. But it's not that amazing pa. Kasi I just, ano, panindigan pagiging short hair. <laughs> Sige, short hair ako sa Saturday. Kasi I feel weird. Like, I'm still, I feel weird with the new hair. I really like it. I really like it. But then I'm like, I'm not used to this whole thing showing. Because before, I always, like, hide behind the hair. So, I'm not used to this whole area showing like your hair last Monday. What was my hair last Monday? What was my hair last Monday? I don't even remember. I have a bad memory. Mon? Ah! Mas bagay na kling buhok. Really? Mas refreshing. Really? I really like it also because it's like a new look. It's wet right now, but when it's, I know, brushed up bun. Oh, you like the buns? My mama likes also, like bun. Kasi, um, the hair's out of the face. But yeah, I've been really loving my short hair era. It feels so freeing, but I'm still not used to it. Long hair pa rin. Thanks, bestie. I like both. That's why I told you, mabilis ako magsawa. Some days, I feel like having long hair. Some days, I feel like having short hair. So, no, I wasn't able to go to the concert. Oh, thank you, Vasti. Extension is like... <laughs> I like, ano, I like any. Kasi I want, ano, I want to... Like I said, I really like change from time to time. I don't like the same thing again and again. That's why I changed my room today. Because I've been here for how many months now? And I really don't like the feeling of small spaces. I feel so... Uh, I don't know. I feel like I can't really work well or I can't think well. Because it I know, feels small. No, I don't feel like coloring my hair because I already colored my hair a lot before. And I don't like how it looks on me. I feel like I can't find the correct color for me. I feel like Chica. Unproductive. Yeah, that's true. I I want to feel more productive. So, yeah, that's what I did today. I actually baked cookies for today. But, but the thing is, you know, today I was like, I feel like baking today. I keep on craving cookies. So, I'm gonna bake today. So, I got my ingredients. I, I did the cookie dough already. Like, ready na talaga. Like, ready na to go in the oven. And then, uh, 
I ran out of brown sugar. So I'm like, I okay, fine. I'll go buy brown sugar. So I went to brown. I went to buy brown sugar. Balik ako. Then I make the dough. And then I'm oh, about to put it in the oven na. No, wala nang gas pesti. We don't have gas, so I didn't even get to bake it in the oven. And I was like, wow, for the one day that I decide to bake, and the one day I decide to use my hands, <laughs> I ran out of gas. Pa. And then yon, we tried to get it. Uh, uh, we tried to get a new one. Wala, they didn't have dough, so we ended up cooking like in the small mini mini oven, like for toasting bread, ganyan. Pero masarap naman siya. Medyo sunog nga lang kasi it's a very small oven. So it can't evenly, ano, it can't evenly bake. So yun. Ay, okay na ako. Yun nga eh. I was like, wow, the one day I decide to bake, it didn't allow me to. Air fryer? Pwede. I didn't, I don't have an air fryer. My air fryer is in Iloilo. But yeah. Yun. It was, Fun. I cooked it, but it kind of like burnt because, like I said, the oven is not the right oven. But yeah, anyway, let me do a room tour for everyone. And hello to everyone! Thank you for joining me to the 231 viewers. Hello! My hair is kind of drying now. Yes! It's still a little wavy. Hi! Okay, so what I did today... Because I was looking around the apartment, I was like, there's so much going on, mother. There's so much going on, mom. I can't, I know, I can't be productive like this. Because I feel like when I move, I, I know, I, uh, I have to move around. Because our apartment's not that big. It's big, but like, it's not that uh, maayos. Because there's a lot of things going on. <laughs> but yeah, so I decided to move around some things, and I used to have a bed here na malaki, like for uh, what do you call it? The queen size bed? Is it a queen size? I don't know what it is. Queen size? I guess it's not that. I know, it's not that big, but it's big. Anyway, so I decided na we'll remove the bed because I want to have more space here when I used to dance for TikTok like that's my space lang dun lang and I'm like it's so small so I want to have ano, I want to have more space so I got rid of the bed I got rid of the bed bestie and I put the sofa so now it's a sofa but actually this is a sofa bed so if I want to sleep I can just pull it and make a sofa bed. But actually, I really like smaller beds because I feel like uh, more cozy ng ganyan. The bed, I put it in the sala. <laughs> I put it in the sala. So it's like a studio flat vibe right now. But this is considered a studio room. Ganyan. Because actually, Mama doesn't want to share a bed with me. That's the problem we used to have. Hello, Rovic. Well, yeah, so she doesn't want to share a bed with me because every time I sleep, though, I move too much. So she was like, I'm not gonna, I know. Paano pag may bisita ka? They'll sleep on the floor. Like if Clara and Esther or uh, Rika, they want to sleep on here, they can sleep on the floor or they can sleep on the sofa bed. I'll be on the floor. But yeah, we're like, bye bed. Because I want to have more space in this room. So actually, I'm very, very happy that it's gone. The bed is outside. So mama gets to uh, relax there with the TV. It looks good. Actually, not that, I know. Uh, not that good. Or mama can, I don't know. We'll figure it out right now. But yeah, yeah, I finally got the sofa bed. Mama will have the bed. We'll see. Maybe I'll sleep there or she'll sleep here. We'll see. But this is the situation right now. I'm so happy. Look how much space I have, bestie. I can do workouts here in my room, na bestie. I can do TikToks that are like crazy and intense, na pang G4. <laughs> and then I have my makeup thingy here. 
It's over there. So all of my makeup and stuff is here. It's not that, I know, it's not that maayos pa. Pero as you can see, I have a bunch of random things here. I have the number one from the chosen. And then I have actually, uh, I have a tray full of crystals because, you know, I really love manifesting. And this is actually some stuff that I used before. But it's nice to have crystals by the workplace. So you guys actually gave me this. Remember? Yes, they have. So this is what I use it for. I have crystals in it. Let me give you a crystal tour. Because why not? I'll show you everything. So this one is called a citrin. Citrin crystal. This is to manifest like uh, abundance in a way. And I think it's good for positive energy. Genial. I can do tumbling, tumbling na for you, bestie. My space now. Oh. I can skateboard from here to the door now. Because it's very spacious. <laughs> anyway, then I got this one. I forgot what this is called. What's this called? Do you guys remember this? Ah, uh, Adventurine. Adventurine. This is Adventurine. I got it in a heart shape and a raw shape. This is also, ano. Sige nga, isang tumbling. Bestie, practice muna. Bestie. <laughs> I might break the whole place. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know how to tumble. Why? Don't take, don't take everything I say seriously talaga. <laughs> but yeah, this is called adventuring. This is to manifest good luck. So, if you want to have good luck, like example, you're gonna scratch and win, you put this in your left pocket, bestie. Okay, this is for good luck. I'm, so I'm I sometimes have bad luck, but then yes. Oh, la la la, thank you. So yeah, this is from Shopee Luck. To be honest, I got this from Shopee. So yeah, if you want good luck, like scratch and win, lotto, buy yourself adventuring, put it on your left pocket, and you will see. And then next we have yeah. This is the Tiger Stone. If you guys don't know what a Tiger Stone is, it is to manifest money. So actually, it's nice to have a uh, Tiger Stone in your wallet. I don't know why I'm teaching you about crystals, but if you have Tiger Stone in your wallet, this will actually bring money into your life. So this is how you, I know. Whoa. Really? May nanalo? That's so lucky. I wanna try doing lotto. Hindi ko pa natatry. I never tried betting. <laughs> Kuya Prince, thank you! But yeah, if you get a tiger stone, I used to have a really small one. I don't know where I put it na. Ate Lalalan, thank you. And you put it in your wallet and that will manifest money. And guys, actually when it comes to money, you should really respect it. That's what I learned from... Ate Lalalan, thank you. That's what I learned from people and podcasts they say if you respect the money it will come towards you so every time you put money in your wallet you should really uh, lay it flat you should really respect it put it in order lay it flat fold it properly put it in your wallet and then the next one is you see how i have two of each i'm such a hoarder but like this one is called the amethyst I didn't get like the shine one. I just got it in the raw, I know, raw form. This is amethyst. By the way, these are my nails. <laughs> but yeah, I did my nails. <laughs> Beauty, thank you so much. Thank you guys for supporting me on this campaign. Eto, this one is amethyst. This is to manifest uh, fortune, abundance. This is for abundance. And the deeper the purple, the better. So that's why I got like a really deep purple. And this is good to put by your workplace to, uh, you know, for the energies. And actually, I don't know if you guys know. Oh, ipakita nails sige. Here, Dusty. I did my nails. I want to add glitter. I wanted something simple lang. Like almonds. I did baby boomer nails. That's what they call it. It's like pink but faded to white. But yeah. Ate thank you. Hello, Ate Lala Land. Hello. But yeah, guys, if you have crystals like this. Oh, good night. Kuya Prince, thank you.
you so much for stopping by. Beauty, thank you so much. This is the amethyst, like I said. Also, if you have crystals and you don't really know how to, you have to charge them from time to time. Hello, Ruther. ZXY, hello. You have to charge them from time to time and cleanse them. And the way you can do that is by putting them in sunlight and let th leave them in the sun for a while. That's how you charge them and how you cleanse them. But uh, you know what? It's really up to you if you believe in crystals or not. I feel like in some cases, it's placebo effect. But, you know, you do you. For me, I like to believe in it because I like to use it like as an instrument to my manifesting. But I'm not that into manifesting Machado right now. But anyway, this one is... Uh, the next one is this one. This one is called White Quartz. It's clear. It's just a very pure white. This is to manifest clarity. If you are anxious and you are feeling like the world is so magulo, like this is what you use to manifest clarity. And actually, this is also used for manifestation in general. If you have like a wish or like something you want to manifest specifically and meditate with, JLM Marcy, thank you so much. This is for positive energy. So if you want to manifest like clarity, clear mind, uh, to get rid of anxiousness, you can hold this while you are meditating. JLM Marcy, thank you. But yeah, this is nice to have for. Also, this is for protection. So if you want to protect yourself from bad vibes, this is a good one. And then we have the rose quartz. This is the pink one. This is to manifest love and friendship. So this is a very cute pink one. I got it in a big one because I don't have a small one. But yeah, this one, rose quartz. Very cute. So those are all of my crystals. Share but yeah, it's nice to have them by the workplace or by the window to attract positive energy. But yeah, I haven't been meditating much. That's what I want to get back into. But anyway, <laughs> I was showing you my room. What happened? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's my room. Me, I have so much space. <laughs> Look, I have so much space. My bed used to be until here. So this whole thing was so small for me. I feel like I can't really move. And like, you guys know naman that in my workspace, I like to have a lot of space. That's why in Iloilo, I don't even have a bed in my room. I sleep in mama's room. Kasi ayoko... I don't want things getting in the way, like while I am uh, working, going live, stuff like that. So yeah, that's my room. I have a bunch of books here. Some of them you guys gave me. Some of them I bought from book sale. But I want to read Pride and Prejudice. I have Pride and Prejudice, the lucky one, The Rescue, Atomic Habits, and the book that will put you to sleep. And then yeah. But yeah, that's what happened. What happened next? I went to show time. And then we... I, wait, let me see my photos if I can remember. Cookie Mohano. All oh, that I could make a single right. Blue carpet, figure. Oh my gosh, Sige. Actually, I have Chica. Chops, thank you so much. Hey, let me drink water. I keep on talking. <laughs> thank you, Chops. Mm. Mm. Makeup event. I didn't tell you guys about it pala. Oh no. Sige, I'll ano. Chops, thank you. I'll ano. I'll make cuento. The day was wild. Wild. <laughs> I had so much fun that day. That was one of the best days of my year, to be honest. Because we never really get to hang out. Na kaming dalawa lang. We never like really had the time to 
go on a date na kaming dalawa lang. So I'm so happy. I went to the makeup event with Rap and there was so much like makeup. There's so many like uh, beauty influencers that I used to watch online long before. I'm so happy na I got to meet some of them. And then so many uh, familiar faces that I saw. And wala lang, ganda lang kasi I've never been to that mall before. It was in the Shangri-La mall. I've never been there. But yeah, it was nice to uh, see that place. And then yeah, and we went. We were like a good two or three hours there. But actually, we went early so we could have lunch together. So, nag lunch kami. And Edsa, no, it was in Mandaluyong. Mandaluyong. So, yes. Yeah. It was a nice... Oh, I really love that day. Kasi, yun nga, we went early. We were like, let's go early so we can have a lunch date together. Ganyan. So, yun, we went early. Chica, chica. Just me and my bestie now. Because I really love her. And then we planned some things. We want to have, like, video content together. Because we want to film for our channel and stuff like that. So, we're planning some videos and stuff like that. So, I'm very excited. And then... And we attended the event. We were there for like a good two to three hours. And then I bought a product there. I got my hair uh, done there because there was like a free hairstyle. So I asked them to style it. I'm not really familiar with my hair because it's short. I asked them how is the style ba na bagay for short hair. They said to mix the waves. Some are going back, some are going front, then yan. It's nice to have volume with short hair though. So they taught me how to curl it and stuff like that. And yun, bumili ako ng item. So, paalis na kami. Kasi Mega Mall is right next to it. So we were walking to Mega Mall. We're walking. Naka heels ako. Naka heels siya. We were like struggling to get our way to Mega Mall. But we eventually did. And then, bestie. I left my bags. I left my shopping bag. I left the product that I just bought. I left it there with all the goodies. And then we're already in Mega. We're already like looking at the shops and everything. And then <laughs> heels So I was like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go back for it. And then I ran. I ran back for my I ran back for my goodie bag. And People were looking and they were like, what's this girl doing? She's just running from uh, across the street. Ganyan. Oh, thank you, McNary. But yun, I ran back for the bag and then I came back. Tapos, no, no, I'm so happy because we were able to... Uh, I needed outfits, so I bought new clothes. Yana, thank you so much. I used the gift cards to buy new clothes so the outfit that i wore on barkadahan the pants they're new so i'm happy i got to have like plain black trousers because i don't have a pair so i was happy to buy myself that and i got some other clothes too like basics that i could wear and then after that it was around 10 o'clock now and then i was like Bestie, I think I'm gonna go home soon. And she's like, no, dinner muna tayo. <laughs> so I was like, sige. <laughs> so we were together from literally 12 to 1. 12 to 1, we're magkasama. So the restaurants in the mall were already closed. We were like, where do we go kaya? Then she said she wanted to try this restaurant called Filling Station. So those are the pictures that you saw on Twitter. It's one of the best places I've been to. So if you haven't seen it, you can check my Twitter. I posted pictures there. It's the Filling Station, Filling Gas Station. So yeah, it's like this very 60s, 70s inspired diner. Like the stuff you see in the movies. Ang ganda. And then there were so many uh, pictures of... Um, there were so many pictures of the stars like Marilyn Monroe, Elvis Presley, and then Theon. It was so nice. There was actually a clown, the clown from It. He kept trying to scare me. And then, like, 
I was saying no. You can't scare me. He scared me the first time, but not the times after that because I was already expecting. But yeah, it was very fun. We were just there, the both of us we were having like dinner. La long sa yako lang, kasi yun nga we never really get to uh, hang out na kami dalawa lang, kasi she's very busy and our schedules don't really match. So I'm very happy Sarah got to have a day. Yana, thank you so much. Sino sa sabi mo? Sina. It was the both of us. It was girls' day. It was bestie day. So yun. And then, yun, muwi kami. We're very happy. It's one of the best days of my year. I'm so happy. It really made my day. And then, ano pa? Ano pa nangyari? Hmm. I told you about QC Circle, right? Rocket. 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 and Rika? Thank you. Thank you so much. Kailan yan? Uh, I don't remember the... Oh yeah, blue carpet. Sige. Wait lang, let me find when was that. But yeah. Ah, nakwento ko na. Ah. But yeah, that's what we did. And then, after that, uh, what was the next? Look out! Can I check my gallery? Like, so I can see. So, I'm very, ano, uh, I'm so happy the last guesting. Ang saya! That was so fun for me. And it was like, oh, uh, it was my first time meeting Kuya Iggy. Kuya Iggy boy. Ayan, I had so much fun. And then, I had, like, it's one of my favorite guesting so far. I don't know why. It was so, ano, it was so energetic. And, I had like, I wanted to try a different look. So, kasi yun nga, in Barkadahan, we're not allowed to wear uh, dresses. So, I wanted to, um, wanted to wear dress. Thank you so much, besties. Charit, thank you po. Tita Charit. Hello. Yeah, I had so much fun. Like, I didn't feel like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but I felt more comfortable because like going the second time, and I feel like we were just going crazy. <laughs> it was so fun, and like I said, I wanted to wear something super super girly because I can't really wear girly sa barkadahan because we're not allowed to wear skirt. Ganyan. So I was like, anindigan ko to. I'll wear heels talaga, kahit mahirap. I, I really wanna wear heels and try it. Thank you so much. Yes, with Jillian. It was so fun. I had so much fun talaga. And uh, it was like one of my favorites. Then, because it was iconic. <laughs> but yeah, every time we have a guest, it's so fun. Because they have so much fun with us and they get to debate with us. Ganyan. I like hearing their opinions. Rin. But yun. <laughs> it was fun listening to the debate. But I'm not part of it now. I'm not part of the debate because I am the game master. Ah, uh, yeah. The blue carpet. Say yeah, basically. Complete kayo this Saturday? Yes, hopefully. I think we will be complete now on Saturday. And it will be fun as usual. <laughs> But yeah, you on the blue carpet, I had so much fun. I was very anxious, to be honest. Like, I was very anxious, but I had so much fun. Because, you know, it was my first time being part of a cast. 
and walking down the carpet as a cast. It was so, I was so anxious, but I had so much fun. Sean, hello. First time mas sa Trinoma. No, bestie, I'm always there sa Trinoma. Hi, Sean. Hello to the 2024. Hello. And yun, I want to say thank you to everyone who came to support me and the show. Thank you, thank you po talaga. <laughs> Matias. Yes, my dalang banner. Thank you so much to Amanda. Thank you, Amanda, for ano, for messaging my team talaga. Ang cute ni Amanda. She really messaged the team and she was like, do you have any materials that I can hold for so <laughs> I was so kidding. So cute. And thanks so much to my friends who came out. They were so happy. And I'm so happy that they were there. Because, like I said, I was a bit anxious. So, seeing familiar faces was very helpful for me. And thank you, some besties, na pumunta. Thank you. And, like, yun, I was so happy that people were there. I was very, I know, I was very anxious. But I was happy. Jan 377, thank you. And then, yun. I'm going to read the message. And I'm so happy me and Amanda's friendship became so solid talaga. Like, we're like besties na talaga. Yes, Jacqueline was there. Yes, thank you, thank you talaga to everyone who came. And thanks to everyone who really made the time to support me in real life and online. Thank you, thank you talaga. But you know, I was very happy. And I'm so anxious to be honest. <laughs> I'm like real tough lang, but like I'm very uh I was a bit awkward because I'm like oh my god so many people and I'm I know I'm still a very much introvert at heart. John three seven seven, thank you so much. And I was able to get a stylist this time. It was very I know it was very fun working with the stylist. Actually, I was supposed to wear like this really uh long body hugging dress talaga but it ended up looking too formal so I ended up wearing something else so my parents recommended that outfit Jen377 thank you the dress I was supposed to wear was super it was so nice <laughs> but it was long kasi so it, it looked a bit too ano, it looked too formal Oh no, I wasn't able to invite anyone. I didn't have invites because I'm not part of the main cast, so they gave invites to other people. So yeah, try to have stylists kapag big event. True, I'm not the, I'm not, uh, I have outfits, but it's like I want bonga. Wait, I'll show you. I'll show you the potential dress. The one that was the one I was supposed to wear but it was it was too daring <laughs> so we had to put like we had to put something inside okay. let me get the picture it's in this one it's in this Wait, my face is 
so ugly. Wait. <laughs> Let me draw on my face. Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna talk while I'm doing this. So anyway, you and I wasn't able to have invites because I'm not part of the main cast. But thankfully, I still got to see my friends. But then, Sorry, I'm drawing on my face because I am. Thankfully, our other friends invited. Um, our other friends were invited. This was supposed to be the dress. This was supposed to be the dress. Actually, dapat walang inner yan. It's supposed to be skin. But it was like, it was too daring. So we had to put, ano, we had to put something inside. But it's not, uh, it's too long. Next time I'll try to, ano, but as you can see, oh, thank you so much, Grayson! Thank you, thank you for... But yeah, it was very, very daring. Actually, this whole thing was backless. And then there's like a slit here and a slit here. Tapos, this is not included to dress. But yeah, this was the potential dress. It's so cute. But yeah, it was too, ano, too formal. So, thank you so much, Grayson! It is too formal, so we weren't able to wear that one. Thank you, thank you so much. Chris Montero, hello. But yeah, that was the events of the blue carpet. After the blue carpet, I didn't really uh, stay long. Because I, I was very... Uh, my head hurt, so I went home. <laughs> I went home after. Just na lang, cause my head was hurting, and yeah. it was fun. I had to. I was having like a hard time with the headache and stuff. And uh, oh yeah, there was a gift too. <laughs> Thank you, Grayson. Thank you so much. Here, I got a gift from Tita Gemma. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm gonna show you guys. Thank you so much, Tita Gemma. Very 
cute for the shoulder reveal. So cute. So summer. And then there is Sorry guys, but yeah, 
Actually, like, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, in real life, older. Ka. Yeah, I'm older than him. I think he's twenty or twenty-one. Then twenty-four. What's your favorite Filipino food? Mm, bahay ni Kumu, hello! My favorite Filipino food? I, it's a ginataang ipon. But, yeah, it's a ginataang ipon. <laughs> it's, ano, it's still the same one. <laughs> That's always my answer. And, uh, yun. Actually, tomorrow I'm gonna go early and then, so I'm not gonna stay super, super long, but maybe 11, 15, somewhere there. I need to go to the doctor to get some things checked, but yeah. I've been a little, I don't know how to explain my, I know, lately. I've been a lot, I've been anxious a lot lately, nervous, I don't know. I think because of the things that are coming up, like, I'm not, I know, I'm not used to it yet. I don't know how to explain it, but that's my mood, right? Not mood, but like, that's the vibes right now. So I'm trying to like, declutter my space. I'm trying to, uh, my mind by clearing my space. I think, uh, I don't know what to explain, but yeah, that's what's been going on lately. And then there are some things that I can't really talk about online. But, yeah. Hormones? <laughs> no, no, man. No, no, man. I don't know. I think I'm just like a little nervous. I don't know. I think your favorite color is pink. Yeah, it's pink. <laughs> pink peach. Pinky color. But yeah, I'm sorry if my mood's not that like super energetic. But then I'm trying to I'm trying to like be positive in a way. I don't know how to explain it, what I'm going through. I can't really talk about things that are going on right now, but but just know that I'm always trying my best and I'm always uh, I'm always thankful and grateful but yeah. there are some days when I'm like oh, I don't know I don't know how I feel I'm very nervous very anxious I don't know why but I hope this feeling goes away soon but yeah I just want to say thank you Ren to everyone for supporting me online and always being there for me I love you guys and I, huh. <laughs> I don't know, I can't really talk about some things in my life because they're a bit personal, but, you know, I don't know. I don't want to cry, but yeah, I really don't want to cry, but like there are things that I can't talk about that are making me overthink and making me a bit anxious. But I hope this feeling goes away. Oh. And I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best always to put my best foot forward. Always. I never want to uh, put. I never want to do things half effort long. I always want to do my best. Always. Because that's, that's me. That's how I am. And like I'm very like maarte about the stuff that I put out. I'm very maarte about like what I do. Because siempre I want to be the best version of myself. I don't know what I'm even talking about. Basta alam ko. <laughs> I can't really say it online. But yeah. But beyond, I'm sorry if like my energy is not that amazing. Or, some things I can talk about on them because they're a bit personal. It's making me overthink a bit. And, and I don't want to overthink. And I just want to be happy. Because, you know, there are some things that, like I always say, it's not a big But yeah, I just want to say your best days. But the, the most important thing is that you're trying your best always. And you're always uh, putting your best foot forward. And if ever there are things that 
you don't want to uh, Wait, actually, let me go to the CR muna. <laughs> 